All right, and we are live. How is everybody today? Well, I thought I would go and check um, the weather radar again. Seem it's raining outside. I feel uh, a little, but oh, let's redo that again. I feel a little under the weather today. There's a few people who have been as well. Hope everyone's well. Um, I can see you in the comments. So, so let's have a look over the uh, New Zealand radar. So this is Met Service. And uh, this is the real time. I'm going to just play it out and just see if we can notice anything odd. Oh, there's one. There's one here. There's something right here, watch, in this area. And then, see that one? And just as that one, we'll go around one more time and then I'll pause it. There it is there. So I'll just pause it on that one and now I'll zoom it in. So I've been watching this now. This one, yeah, somewhere north of Raglan, just north of Raglan. So there's one being shot off there. So I understand it to be EMF, which could possibly be controlling uh, why the weather's lingering along with the chem bombs. Australia's getting smashed as well. Um, let's have a look down. Oh, there's one here as well. See this one here? So this one is uh, down by the military base in Canterbury. Uh, someone messaged me earlier uh, and told me uh, about it. So let's play this one out. Boom. There it is there. There it is. So they're like shooting it. They shoot it like every what 10 15 minutes maybe so that's one and then there's another one here boom comes out this way i'm not a weather expert guys but this is not normal what are they doing hey natalie how's everybody hope you're well what do you think's going on here and then all around new zealand we've just got rain let's have a look at uh Wendy, and I just want to do a big shout out to uh, Rob D on uh, YouTube and Facebook. I'll put a link out. Rob D's been doing this for a while now, trying to teach people and educate. And since I've been uh, watching and following Rob, I've been learning quite a lot. Um, well, not a lot. I've still got way more to learn. So, uh, yeah, uh, the other day I filmed this as well. There was one being shot out of Greymouth and it was coming down this way. A beam, I hadn't seen that one before. Um, but here somewhere will be the base, military base, and that beam's shooting out that way. So, what time was that? What time is that beam? It's at 3.35. Three thirty-five. So we'll just go four o'clock, and it's like you can see the currents being pushed that way. Is that what that's doing? And then that other beam that goes up from the east coast of Christchurch. So we'll just go have a look back at that one. Oh, that's Australia. So then just play that one out. Oh, it starts now. You can just see a little fragment of it, and you can just see it again. Very lightly. And again, is it at the start? So I'm just going to pause it um, one more. No, we'll go back to that one. So what's that? 405. So I'll just check back at Wendy. Uh, four, 405, same time. So if they're beaming out this way, is it like pushing and directing? And then with this one pushing that way, is that what's making it 
swirl around. Look at the the rainfall. What is that zap? What do you guys think? Hey Kay, hey Carrie, how are you doing? Hey Clay, this has been so interesting over the last few days. Yeah, definitely need to watch it. And I don't understand why media, well, I understand why media aren't talking about it. They know what they're doing. But I just can't believe people are not seeing it. Uh, but I guess I didn't see it either until I, I saw Rob, Rob D. Um, I'll just quickly click that one over there. And we're going to start off another one. Um, and let's go. Rob D. Here he goes. Give this guy a like and a, a subscribe and, and and watch his videos and I think you'll be highly uh, blown away by what he shows. Let's have a quick look at it now. Good Does evening, it? folks. So he, he does New Zealand and Australia, right? Um, and he gets really in-depth with it. So let's just uh, play out and get a feel for it, what's happening. It's... Uh... 2203. So if you're in Australia, like share this to people in Aussie so they get to see what's happening because Australia's getting inundated with rain and floods. On the sixth day, first month, 2023. Are we rolling? Yes. Now I'm looking at here is some of your, uh, how much uh, moisture is in your soil uh, by percentage. And it surprised me to see how how much dry was out here even even below uh, Alice Springs where you had just had a lot of rains and where some stuff is is kind of headed this way very very surprised by that very surprised by the dry the percentage of dry soil here you know as I start seeing stories about fire seasons I start to worry about a uh, geoengineered fires and geoengineering is a man-made uh, control of natural things and systems uh, of weather and fire happens naturally you know lightning can strike so whammo so i i'm watching for things and fire accelerants are in the cap uh, the small nanometallics they burn very easily bright and very hot and your fire seasons were reporting a unbelievable i fire season the fire your firemen and emergency workers they never see anything like it and so there's a lot of I never ever thought about that before. So what they're dropping in the skies, and for those that have um, have just come on, I'll demonstrate just quickly what we're talking about. Just have to give me a moment to find a video. Um, Uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to, I've already played this out a few times. I'm not going to play it for very long at all, but just so that you have an understanding. So here <clears throat> was five days ago now. And five days ago, I watched eight planes in a period of three hours, maybe. Um, two of the planes uh, were just doing this, what you're about to see now, which was just the air moisture off a, off a plane. But the other six planes um, were all dumping something. So let's just have a quick look. It's now 1.39 p.m. So I'll check this one as well. But yeah, nothing behind it. Okay, so that looks normal, right? Okay, so just in front of us here, we have a plane. And let me just pull back a bit. This is why your weather's terrible. Those clouds don't look very good. You can see that line going right through there still. Yeah. that's one uh then you look at the yeah, skies wow look at that. that this is not a normal cloud and then you know rob just said that there's chemicals in this right so fire accelerant so when it does heat up are we going to have some bushfires here in new zealand and then this one this is the line here and see how that's all kind so when that plane flew over and it dropped that 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 line of chem bombs, when they chem bombed it, there was that thin line. Now it's drifted out. Can you see it expanding? It's, it's getting bigger, and then it's got these patterns in it, right? So is that because of of the radar that I showed you earlier? 
thôi It's not condensation from a plane, my friend. There's something much, much greater happening here. If you can't see this, then we have a problem. So yeah, um, probably about five, uh, four hours after all of this. So three hours of, of, of chem bombs. And then about four hours later, it rained, and it's been raining ever since. It's it's yeah, the whole country is covered in rain. All right, let's go back to. Uh, this one. So. You know, when they're dropping these. These chemtrails, these chem bombs, and then you've got this type of activity happening down here in the south island um why can't i zoom in there we go you know what's this so it's coming from a, a base over here this has been happening for days now i've only been watching this for about a week but i'm sure it's been happening for a very long time um I wish I'd been watching it much longer now um, to see if it's ramped up more so um, than it was like through winter and, and, and whatnot. So, you know, what are they shooting? EMF. Zap, 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 zap. Another one out here. You anyway, know, let's go back to our mate, Rob. Yeah, it's a lot of dry, dry soil about, which shows you how... So I'll just go back to the comments. Hayley, hi, great weather today. Here, yeah. <laughs> country's inundated. Hey, Kerry, how are you doing? Brian, well, interesting. It is interesting. Very, very interesting. How quickly. And very, very uh, concerning. Pressure uh, can dry an area out. Because you had, you had flooding around Perth, but it's, it's no evidence of it. Yeah, you have something here now. But what about on the 15th? It's already started drying out. It's also telling me you got a good soaking. You know, if I look at this stat here, I can usually see what happens quick. But if your soil is hard, it's not going to retain the water. It's just going to run off. And you've had a lot of a lot of water through here for this to look this dry. So it's telling me your soil is really hard. Yeah, it's just not it's not seeping in. Yeah. Uh, Beverly, being very interesting. I often look at the New Zealand rain radars, but never notice these lines now i notice them and i wonder it's emf you don't need to wonder it's emf the zapping hey john how are you buddy we really need to start making sound on all, all of this <clears throat> there's a lot of issues that we need to make sound about i think it's just educating people right into the, uh into the big uh, artesian basins and stuff like that uh, that is uh, attempting to frack that, by the way. Uh, you need to get on it, folks. And uh, at some point, I'll I'll go more into that with somebody uh, to make you more aware of it. Because it, it is an issue uh, near and dear to my heart, is a non-taxification of the planet. And well, unless the planet itself asks for a jab, I don't think we should stick pipes in the ground and push chemicals into the planet itself. If we want to make ourselves go away, that's our business, you know. This is the, the big body, and it, it should have its own choice. All right, let's have a look forward a bit more. Uh, being done with fires. They did it out in the days of the Old West, didn't they? They, just, you, you either, they made you an offer to buy it. When you said no, they sent the pots to the people in the, to, to encourage you to go. And then they didn't, you didn't do that, they killed you, right? Or in this case here, they flood you out. If you have a mortgage, they may say, uh, you can't have insurance. And the mortgage company says, well, you got to have insurance to have a mortgage. Well, we're just going to foreclose this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, legal moves that can happen. Don't give up the land under your house. Thwart the plan. If the plan is to take your house by forcing it with geoengineering illegal over the top of you, you've got to not give them what was wanted. And you're in for a hell of a ride this week. Yeah, some of you are going to have nice and some of you ain't. This is not good. You want to see the totals? Of course you don't. Right, here's your three days on the middle. And access is, is a little bit different, but it's still the same amount of water, just in a different shape. See, so this, uh, this swath here is a 
going to be about here. This V. It's not been, um, the track of that ain't been laid yet. See, they just, uh, turned all the energy and stuff off this. So, I'm just keep, uh, doing the bump move with the chem bombs through here. This thing will truck over and look like it has a circulation on the radar. What I mean by that is this. If I do, uh, satellite. I'm going to go to the infrared. You know, that looks like a wild storm. Don't you? It's much more of a storm looking thing there like that. Right? But when you look at it like this, eh, it don't quite look the same. It looks all separate. It looks all bomby weather. Do you like bomby weather? How about chem bomby weather over at So these, the, what he's showing you here is basically what I just showed you uh, here, right? Uh, this video here, so that's that's what you're seeing on that radar. It's really showing you. This is all over. Anyway, back on the right. So I got the GoPro going. I think it was a plane number. This one will probably just stay aligned. Three. Quite thick, like that one. Um, until it gets over here, and then it might. Okay. So remember the second plane. So look how thick it's got. That it drop. This is still it. It's getting wider. I've got a time lapse. I got the uh, oh, let's turn the GoPro around and watch this one then. Can't make this up. This is plane number five, and he's just crossed over the last one. Come on. I got the uh, GoPro on a real good angle. So. All right, so I was getting out. <laughs> FYI, I believe that to be a real cloud. So you can see, I just uh, took the. Let's have a look the so I'm pointing the camera down a valley, and all this that you're about to see was perfectly blue sky, probably no more than two hours prior to that. It was meant to be a beautiful day. Look at it all. And do you see these lines here? You know, this is from the EMF. This is, again, what I believe has been created by... Uh, where is it? Where's my window going? By this, right? See these radars, these EMF, zap, zap, zaps, zap, zap, zap. Let's have a look up at the North Island. Uh, I have been looking up here, and there's always one or two. Oh, there's one there. Okay, there's another one there. Look, I didn't see this one before. So there's one there as well. Let's just let it play out. Now, okay. So what's this one? Also coming from Raglan. Play it out again, and I, there's another one down here somewhere. There, there, right there. And it was, was that one out here too? No, I don't, no, just that one there. And there is one in here. You might not be able to see it, uh, this, uh, Met services. There it is there. Yeah, it is too. So I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Do you see that line coming through? Yeah. And then normally there's another one that goes uh, off to the west coast of Taranaki, and it normally comes out here somewhere. So either north of Raglan or, you know, all around Raglan areas is where the beams are coming from. One and two. And then don't forget we've got the the one down here. Boom. Boom. Anyway, let's go back. We're gonna check it again. We're gonna keep checking. The wascally wabbit flats over here. Oh. Um and because we're listening to Rob, please go make sure you subscribe. I will put them in the comments. Um but you need to listen to the message. Oh, yeah. I knew it was a kangaroo. <laughs> Somebody saw my post.
I'm the waspy wabbit. I made that meme. I will die. You don't know what happened to these animals. It's so so tragic. But I did warn about this. That the, the, the death toll of the animals is going to be uncounted. Let's have a look at uh, Wendy again. Um, see, when I listen to brain accumulation, I need to. He has the premium, so he gets to see a. Uh, I got more rain thunder weather radar satellite winds wind accumulation. He has a uh, premium. I know that I've seen it before, but I, I haven't got the money to be spending weather radar. Oh, there it is. Is it, is it that beam again? See, even on this one. Yeah, there it is again. Even on Windy, there's that beam. And it's coming from that army base down there. It's like a still one, though, right? And then if you go to Aussie. Um, I have been talking with uh, Rob for an interview, but he's extremely busy at the moment, and he's taking a little bit of time off for himself. Um, but this has been going on for a week now, a whole week. And these are these clouds he's talking about. Look at them all. See these clouds? They're exactly like the ones in the video that I made after the uh, six planes dropped the chem, chem bombs. This is why we're having bad weather. This has been done on purpose. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, comments. Uh, we need to start really making sound on this. Yeah, what do you think we should do? I'm trying my best here. I'm making videos. I post them up. I get a lot of slack from it. And then Facebook doesn't even share the videos. So, you know, out of uh, two and a half thousand friends and two, seven and a half thousand uh, family, uh, it's only getting like 20, 20 likes. Or, and it's not that I'm after that. You guys know this. I'm not here for popularity. Um, but I don't know how else to to get it out there other than just to keep making these videos and pointing out some obvious things. Um, I did a live yesterday about this as well. We also talked about down here um, in uh, bottom of the south, there is a, a base down here. <clears throat> um, basically, I'm thinking it's HARP. They say that it's a space agency. Let's see, let's see if I can get some photos of it for you. We can close that video now. I don't need that out. Uh, is this King Trails? We'll close that. Not that one. Where did I put these? Images. Where are they? Oh, here they go. So down in the South Island, I think I'm just going to have to share one at a time. I did try looking for this. Um, where is the picture? I don't know. Oh, that's it there. So this was uh, down the bottom of the South Island. 
So uh, I explained in the video yesterday all about it. I think there was 16 antennas here and four here. They plan on installing another 15 by the end of this year. And by 2024, they wanting to have 45 antennas. Um, each antenna has its own computer. And I'm guessing it runs into this tiny building here. Um, I do have photos of this. So um, let me see if I can't find some more. I'll just go back to this radar while I look um, for these photos. Um, so this is the antennas. Here's, there you go there. So there's that little building I was telling you about. The person that gave me the information um, has ties to people that uh, worked here or working and have been into this uh, facility. Um, they did mention to me that there's some symbolism in this building as well. Uh, the all-seeing eye um, with some other strange symbols. So I, I don't know. They say it's for space, but yet I'm getting uh, people telling me um, other things, right? Uh, can we look at that photo? No, we don't need to look at that photo. Let's go look at something, another one. I'll get rid of that photo. I have too many pages up. Um, what's another photo here? Okay. So let's have a look, a uh, closer look at them. So, what do these towers do? Well, let's go take a look at a web page. And uh, we're going to go on this one. And we'll go Google. Oh, I don't need to do that. It's here. And I'm just going to type in. Now, Google always hides things. But I'm going to type in HARP. HARP, a USA conspiracy theory magnet. Discover HARP myths. HARP Hamilton Association. HARP is a non-profit organization. You're never going to find much here. Not on, on Google. They um they sense everything. Well, so <laughs> you can't seriously. So all right, so again, how we've got the antennas that I just showed you at the South Island. So here we have them here, you know. Um, is it a conspiracy? What what's all this about? You know? Where the modification? Add the planes and that are flying over. Look at the sky. That one's just an illustration though. So uh, Aussie in Alice Springs, there's one as well. On the west coast of Aussie, where I showed you that zapping that's happening over there. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? With all the rain, there'll be heaps of growth, then dry equals fire, possibly. Anyway, let's go back to Rob. Yep. 
Oh, that narrow depth. I need to do this. I like Rob. They're rotting in water and you're playing around in that water. You, you're running the risk for cholera and other diseases. You scratch yourself, you might get sepsis, but you know. Yeah, John, you're right. Lots of people don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. So now we need to figure out why they don't want to hear it. Why do you think people don't want to hear it? Hey, ZZ, how are you going? Bridget, how are you doing? Hey, Bex. Who's doing this, Clay? Who's doing this? Um, so I went over to... Um, we'll come back to you, Rob. I went over to... Uh, where should we go? I'm going to put this one over here. Back to Google. And I typed in um, Kim Trails, New Zealand. And oh, oh got images. <laughs> Look at all the photos, right? Look at that one. Look at the skies. Look at it. Oh, hold on. What's this? Petition to New Zealand government to stop climate change. And they've got this photo above it. God. Kidding me. To stop climate change. How about we have a petition to New Zealand government to stop chem bombing us? That would be a better petition. Anyway, so uh, let's go back to web to all. Uh, and then I went into the, uh, this is the gov.nz website, so Atmospheric Spraying, Chemtrails in New Zealand. Um, this is really the only thing I've really found. Atmospheric Spraying, Chemtrails in New Zealand, Official Information Act. Um, in here they were asked a question. Dear, blah, blah, blah. Um, here's the question. Please confirm that the atmospheric spraying commonly known as chemtrails is being undertaken in New Zealand skies? Question mark. If the answer is yes, please confirm what substances are being used for this purpose. And the reply was, the Ministry for the Environment does not have any information relating to the atmospheric spraying and has no reason to believe that such spraying is occurring. But yet, just go look outside. We're in the middle of summer. <laughs> All right. So that's that's their reply. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Study looked to release chemtrails. So New Zealand Herald did an article. Study looks into belief that chemtrails are real. 10% of Americans believe that chemtrail conspiracy theory is completely true, with 20 to 30% believing it's somewhat true. But just look at the skies. This, uh, the conspiracy theory is the idea that airline is a delivery spraying a mixture of toxic chemicals into the atmosphere with undisclosed goals that may have to do with weather modification and mind control reports the daily mail however none of this is true according to scientists paid scientists um the u.s environmental protection agency and an investigative journalist i guess i'm like a little journalist i'm not accredited but I can see very clear that something's going on. Um, the researchers behind the study say that the belief in the conspiracy theory makes having a rational conversation about geoengineering, geoengineering, the deliberate manipulation of environmental processes that affects the Earth's climate in an attempt to counteract the effects of global warming even more difficult. So are they just saying there that the reason for spraying is to manipulate the weather to help global warming. I don't know, words. According to the study, contrails are actually made up of water vapor and have been byproduct of aviation ever since humans began. Okay, so that first video I showed you, yeah, sure. 
uh, aviation, uh, sorry, the uh, contrails, the moisture, it all disappears. But then why did the other six uh, planes, um, trails not disappear? Not only did they not disappear, but they grew and grew and grew. And now we have uh, weeks of rain. So who's doing it? Um, also, I wanted to uh, jump here and New Zealand Air Radar. Radar tracker. I'll just let that load. Okay, it's here. So a good idea is to download the app. I actually have the app and uh i watched the plane so on a nice day like not today i look outside and all i can see is rain but on a nice day where you can see some planes flying over if they are like dumping i would then go and, and click on and see what plane it was now i did see one plane and uh, i saw a photo to match and the plane left uh left christchurch and then, was it, no, no, it wasn't Christchurch. It was from here somewhere. It was down here. And the plane was tracking all the way up here, all the way up the west coast to the south. And then it landed in Auckland. Um, but there was no, you couldn't see anything. There was, yeah, the details were hidden, right? Some of these you can click on. I haven't been on this website. I've not used it one. And it's pretty slow. Oh, here we go. So this one's NZA aircraft. B73 out, it's climbing altitude at 37,000 feet, nearly at 38,000 feet. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say too much. Um, so, yeah, I would check out the weather radar too and just take notes. Take notes. Just another thing to try and, to try and look for. What time is it on this? 4.13. So shortly it should adjust itself and give us a new a new one. Oh, what's that in there? Let's just take a closer look. Is this one out here still? It's still going. So maybe this is still the same loop as I had at the start of the live. This one, oh, that's still there. Coming from Raglan down, uh, what's that, by Stratford, Awakuni, Forgotten Highway, that's what I'm talking about. So one and two. So all these, like, bands that you're seeing, um i believe them to be emf now i'm not a scientist but i have spent a lot of time looking researching there was also a real straight line through this mess it's just there for, for i don't i don't think it is i'm not sure hopefully rob will sit down with me uh when he's not so busy and uh he can educate me more about it um yeah and also to help me use the maps more anyway let's go back and see what rob's up to again oh my first we'll stop uh let's go to the comments the thing is 95 percent of the population think we are mad and making it all up yeah, I posted um, one of these on the Wellington. They, <laughs> they put up a post saying something about summer and it was raining. It was a photo. So then I put this up and then I instantly get attacked for it. It's like, oh, you're a nut job. Someone also said that I, I made this up, like I've edited it. No, no, no. You can go to metservice.com right now and you can see this one. All right. Yes. It will change over shortly. Anyway, all uh, right, back to chats. Uh, yeah. 
It's not easy being awake. No, it's it's a burden. It's a burden. Yeah, it's a burden. No, it's definitely not easy. No, it's not at all. Hey, Jason, how are you going? Um, also, hi to all the new people that have uh, joined onto, onto my page. Lots of love. Know that I'm here for love and I care. And I've got frustration with what I'm seeing unfolding. Richard, just look at the pics of Harp set up in Alaska. Not a conspiracy. It was on the Jesse Venture show. He went there. He was not allowed in. Massive non-profit. I don't think so. Fear of being uh, orchestrated by... I can't say that word. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, orchestrated. No, it's not orchestrated. Yeah, I know what you're saying, though. By friends and family shuts many minds and mouths. Fear and shame. Well, I guess so. I lost my family a long time ago due to religion, so I kind of really gotten over the fear of what other people think. And at the end of the day, this is serious, right? Or are people that selfish that they just prefer to just shut up about it when, in fact, something major is unfolding? You wait for 2012. Here, yeah, I posted this up the other day. Oh, this is an Aussie at the moment. Look at that. Flooding. Summertime. Um, 2023 is going to be hectic. I've been watching a guy called Tommy Truthful, and he's been uh, educating me on the Dramatra. So we might go have a look at it after this. Do you guys want to look at the Dramatra numbers and we'll type in words and here we go. <laughs> 2023 can't possibly be crazier than the last couple of years. Two, two, two is six. Two, two, two is six. One, two, and three is six. One thing I have definitely learned that chemtrails are real, but the other thing that I've learned is that numbers and words are all energy and frequency, and these elites know that. And when we say things like good morning, you're actually saying good like morning, as in someone's died, like hope you mourn well. Um, there's lots of words in the English language, but each word and each letter also has a number. All right. So, for example, Beyonce has the numbers 54, which I believe 54 represents illusion. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a 666 in there as well. Um, yeah. If you talk about COVID in, um, it comes up with a whole heap. And you just have to spend a while checking it out, really. Um, what time we got down on the radar? Still doing the same loop. I want to see a new loop. Must be coming up shortly. So um, I won't end the live until we see the next loop. But for those that have just jumped on, we're wondering what this... Oh, we're wondering why people aren't questioning. So yeah, Richard, don't, don't have fear. What's the point of fearing people for half the people don't even have their own shit together we're worried about what their opinions are or the opinions of us are if you can hear snoring it's not me Ella's next to me sleeping she's not happy about the weather either she likes being outside this one's still there Okay, back to Rob. Look at the boom, boom, plums here. Boom, 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 the Ross River getting campbound. And now for the campbounds over there in Hermansburg. Do, 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 do. Is it monster cheese there? Look at the pop. Yeah, Joy, we're actually watching Rob D right now. Um, yeah, he's a wonderful guy. Bomb, bomb, bomb. They're bombing Herman. Look right here. That's a bomb. 
Absolutely. And the last. Tracy, my friend made a post about how, well, first of all, hey, Tracy, how are you? Um, my friend made a post about how she's not feeling the best. And I mentioned the chemtrails and boy, did I get hammered. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Can they not see them? Like when they look up, are they seeing like nothing at all? I don't understand people. But obviously everyone's been brainwashed and every people on here will watch this and they'll be offended that I said that they've been brainwashed because they don't believe it. But I will stand firm in what I believe and I won't let words affect me. John, they have made us so caught up with sports movies trying to live that most just don't have time to think. Dumb down population, 100%. Yep, sports is actually an indication of war. So when when you see lots of people going to like the All Blacks or any sport, really, it's an indication of war because that's what sports is. It's like a, a, a reenactment of war. And then everything's costing so much. People are stressed out. People then go to watch uh, movies to try and shut off from from their reality, which is so shit because they're so stressed out trying to pay rent, get food and put gas in the car and pay for s sick family members or look after children or everyone's getting divorces or breaking up because of the stress and families are having division created amongst them. In the movies, the TV, it's programming, guys programming tv program program your mind all right basically six people own every television network in the entire world words are spells yes angie uh english language is a made-up language for spell casting made purposely for this lots of sheep will perish before us awake yeah i wonder how many have passed since taking the uh the jabba here in new zealand wonder if we'll ever know um i've got a ambulance radio i've been listening to and um since the chem bombs were dropped five days ago or four days ago however long it was there's been a few uh ringing up with shortness of breath and and I can tell you personally, I spent the whole day outside filming and that after well, that evening up until now, I'm still feeling foggy brained and I feel like I feel crappy. I don't feel good at all. I'm going to uh, refresh this and see. Yes, and we can manifest good. Yes, we can. We've got to raise those vibrations. All right, uh, we've got a new one now. All right, so let's start at the North Island. See if there's anything. Oh, that one's still going. Is that one in here? No. Oh, there's that one. See, I told you before. Let's uh, let's go back. Oh, where was it? Remember, I told you there it is. There, I told you I could see it through the cloud, but we can see it clearly now. This has been a pain to use today as well. Sorry, just go up and down. Until I find the precise, there it is there. All right, so let's zoom in. So again, it's coming. What's that? So Taranaki, Mokau, Raglan. So yeah, it's coming from Raglan, this one. Boom, boom, boom. Zap, 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 EMF. So straight down through the Forgotten Highway. It's all hilly around there too, right? Okay. And it look, looks like a little flag. Okay, we'll play this one out. This one's still going. 
You see it? And then this one over here. Look how look how strong this one goes. This one's quite boom. Zap. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. We'll go faster. Let it load. Zap, 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 zap. Oh. Yes, and we can manifest good. We think, hey, Joy, we think we say, believe it will happen, speak as it's happened, already have faith. Fear feeds the lower frequency. We, we want to feed the positive. Yes, um, I'm even going to like that post, but we also have to talk about what's happening as well. Um, yeah, it's quite draining. I agree, I'm not afraid. I know many people are. Yeah, people are scared. When I get insulted by people, I, I don't get angry anymore. I used to get a bit angry. I used to fight back, but now I just be careful with my words and realize that people just don't know. They've just been told something, and it's it's, it's a shocking a shocking fact. And the two reactions you're going to get when you tell somebody some shocking information is either they're going to laugh at you or they're going to get angry because the information is too big. Laugh out loud, I was going to say, you even sound like Rob. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Rob a lot. I really love Rob. I think he's I think he's a cool guy. Yes, like the Roman days. And they show us what they are doing in the movies that people don't see under their nose. Yeah, like the movie Avatar and stuff. Every movie is like, every movie is not for our entertainment. It's programming. Yeah, they're fun to watch, but they're programming. Uh, Rob would remember me trying to get how it worded out with the Lismore flood. I think he ended up blocking me. Uh, I don't know. I was trying to help him. Okay. Uh, John, my mother has just had her fourth jab, 67 years old, and still very healthy at the moment. Well, that's good to hear. I don't know the. I don't know the. The full details. Of the jabber. Um, but a lot of people are sick but even people that didn't have the jab have also felt a bit unwell like myself I'm in WA but have family in New Zealand so keep an eye on what's going on I'm wondering do the metallurgists see all of this yeah 100% but you've got to understand that there'll be a boss there right I don't know and I've got contracts and they can't say stuff I worked for a corporation once and I had contracts and, you know, and the contract says cannot talk to media, cannot do this, cannot do that. There's so many restrictions. And then I guess at the end of the day, they have their mortgages to pay all their rent and food and their medical bills. And they want to go on holiday from the stressed out prison that we live in run by a bunch of psychotic Satanists. Um, so they just got to do their job and shut up. They know they don't care. They think they're above the law. My partner asked, what is the ID number on the plane? Thanks. This isn't a plane. This is um, being shot from the military base, I've been told. Is it Bur Burnham or something? Um, I can't go and look at that at the moment. Oh, yeah, I can. Let me see if I can find the uh where was that okay uh so this this beam that you're seeing and this one here so that one and that one um uh that's the radar emf beam from the birmingham military camp they are doing that all the time, sometimes in multiple directions. So, yeah, one there, one there. And I saw one from uh, Greymouth uh, yesterday that was shooting down here. So is it like pushing the, the weather around and, and holding it in patterns? So one area gets gets uh, dumped on in particular or... 
It's going to affect our, 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 our food growing outside. Mind you, I've heard a few of the cannabis bushes are doing quite, quite well at the moment with all the water. But then again, what's in the water, right? What's, what's in these, these chem bombs that they're dropping on us? Um, so for the idea of the plane, so I only use the flight radar. When I see a plane dropping, I'll then go onto the flight radar. But some of them are private. There'll be no information. And, and I'm a premium member on that one. I decided to put some money in there. Um, actually, I watched the plane once. So you can't see it here. But it left uh, Tauranga uh, at about 11 o'clock at night. And it flew all the way out here, all the way out here. And I don't know, it went all the way out. There's nothing out here to, to the east, absolutely nothing. And then it just disappeared at about, I think it was about four in the morning. I watched it till four in the morning. Um, yeah, I don't know where that plane ended up. And I couldn't even look at it. Like I couldn't look at the details of the plane. So strange. Joe, got to go. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Sarah, so do I email the Birmingham Army Camp with our concerns and questions? Yeah, do it. Can you please uh, send me a copy? Can't hurt, eh? Collect some rainwater last night. Not sure how to test or whatever, though. Yeah, it'd be nice to have uh, someone that worked in a lab or something that could um, that would see these videos that I'm making and be like, hey, come on, let's like, work together and let's test some of the stuff. I know that there are some. Um, well, let's have a look what I've got is here. I'll just start up another page because I don't want to lose Rob. We're not losing your Robbie. Um, testing. Kim Trail. You won't really find much on YouTube either. YouTube is like Facebook and um, Facebook and Google. Everything's censored. But I did find a video of a guy and he basically went out to his vehicle and wiped off all the dust. And then he tested it. Maybe that was actually on Rumble. Um, but basically, uh, I remember him saying it had Bryson in it. B R B O R S O N, I think it was, or Bryson. Um, testing. Chemtrail. Dust. And so that's a carcinogen, right? Chemtrail pilot comes, let's have a look. Um, yeah, I saw Richard, uh, all those photos. You can put them on here if you want to. Ah, that's it, B-A-R-I-U-M, sorry, an aluminium. Uh, I, I heard there was 58 different chemicals. geoengineering effort goes by the name this pilot this pilot is saying that he flies chemtrail flights this pilot told my cousin that this global geoengineering effort goes by the name of quote indigo skyfold unquote at least within the circle of pilots and aviation crews that he works with they are told to i just want to stop for a minute What do you say, Indigo? What do you say it was? Fly specific routes and satellite goes by the name of, quote, Indigo Skyfold. Indigo Spyfold. Have a look at these pictures. Morning. Was it Spyfold? Did I say that wrong? This pilot is saying that he flies chemtrail flights. This pilot told my cousin that this global geoengineering effort goes by the name This pilot. This pilot is saying that he flies chemtrail flights. This pilot told my cousin 
that this global geoengineering effort goes by the name of, quote, Indigo Skyfold, unquote. Skyfold. At least within the... Indigo Skyfold. See if we can't find anything. Yeah. Indigo Skyfold. Oh, here we go. Details of request Operation Indigo, Indigo Skyfall chemtrailing. It's not a government page, though. It's uh, what they don't. What do they know? Vinnie Eastwood was protesting chemtrails down Queen Street back in 2011. Well, it's obvious out there. So... We've been blatantly lied to, if, especially if I read in the government page for New Zealand Environment that they're, they're completely denying it. Area operation. The table shows the technical details of internal events that's happening to this request. This could be used to generate information about the speed which the authorities respond and request, the numbers request, which require postal response and much more. Again, you're not going to find anything on on here. Let's go deeper into Google. Go page five. Kim trial pilot blows the whistle. Kim trial pilot blows whistle. Okay. the circle of pilots and aviation crews that he works with. They are told to fly specific routes and satellite comm links control the aerosol dispersal patterns. He says that they only make course corrections from time to time and perform landings and takeoffs. Pilot navigation and maintenance crews are rotated constantly and only spend about 18 months at one given base. He states that this is to keep pilots and their families from making too many friends and ending up with loose lips they're told to simply do their loose lips sink ships their job and shut the f up first of all i would like to say i do not agree with my mission assignments but what soldier ever truly does several of us have considered bucking the ranks and going a wall from time to time we are kept in the dark when it comes to getting honest answers about what we are really spraying should they discover that we or our families are actively inquiring about your so-called chemtrails term, then automatic and swift disciplinary action will be taken. I would not intentionally spray my children with fam or family with toxic aerosols, but as you must know, 80% or better do not have any family or children. Indigo pilots are chosen from the top ranks within the Air Force, Navy, and Coast Guard. Most of the pilots are, quote, hardened to humanity, unquote, and could care less about killing off unwanted or leeching aspects of America and the world. I swear to you, the majority of the pilots are like machines. I call them tanker terminators. We are paid more than any other pilot for our service, other than Air Force One pilots who make as much or more and are kept in a dark secret world for their own protection. Saturday, September 25th, I think. And uh, this is for all these vaccinated morons up here, because anybody who's been vaccinated obviously does not believe in chemtrails. Uh, sorry, I don't agree with him calling people that got vaccinated morons. We need to show love. Very nice looking cloud you know i did uh, some videos back on youtube uh, a long time ago and they were all taken down of course but um on the news they were saying that there's 12 new cloud formations that they're now teaching to the kids in the schools and of course this would be one it's probably what they call um, whoever's watching this and you've got kids can you let me know if they're teaching this at school 
a snake cloud or something like that. Idiots. And uh, today the whole sky, the whole sky. Nothing, nothing but mist. It's all chemical mist over my head here and people think, oh no, it's just cloud. Just uh, showing you some... Look at the patterns there. So that's from the EMF, right? That's the EMF pushing it. So wherever he is, you know, the beams I've been showing you um, on mix service. Certain things here. Of course, this is, this does not move. It just stays there stationary. And notice the sun. It's no longer uh, gold anymore. It's white. Oh, it moves eventually. And look at this down here. That's what you call EMF waves. Look it up. Great for your health, for your brain cells. I'm just going to point the camera down here to the west and you can see all this now up in the sky. And of course the ring, every day, and they say that's a, uh, a sun dog, no, not every day, no, sorry, you can see that ring all around the sun, it doesn't do that with cloud, it does it with mist, with chemical mist, the sun is all covered right there. And you look down even further, and it looks like smoke. It looks like smoke falling. Are you guys seeing the same clouds here in New Zealand, like I am? The whole sky is supposed to be all blue sky, they said today. Not a cloud. Oh, that's right. I put a, I put a video up of the radar about four days ago, and last night I got a message. He seemed quite nice, but he told me that... Uh, I'm going about it the wrong way and that I'm toxic. <laughs> I'm toxic. Unbelievable. The sky. And yet, whatever that is, with all those chemicals in it, look at that. It's like fire. Those clouds are like leaping flames they're not clouds but then again with the 12 new cloud formations that are being taught to schools uh, they probably call it fire clouds or something like that when you look up lines look for lines in the sky they're there the whole sky is whitening look at that one look at the spray now <laughs> coming out all those people looking at this I know they're out there and they're saying Oh my god, the guy's crazy. Well, I'm just showing you what I see here and that, and that is not... Um, he did explain himself, but I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't really pay much, too much attention. I was polite back, and I just appreciate your message. <laughs> um, he hasn't replied yet, but he seemed nice, but I'm definitely not toxic. Not normal. Open your eyes. You don't have see. planes going uh, with passengers on a route like that. One, two, three, four, five lines. And look at going the other way. There's no airport. Just to let you know, this guy's not crazy. He's just a smart man with eyes wide open. Around here. Does 
There's lots of mist. information I guess is uh, quite sensitive to a lot of people and they don't want the public knowing about it um, but uh, you have to know I mean come on you have to just look up in the sky and you can see it but uh, they're hoping that you don't look up that you stay face down into your cell phone falling into sewers and uh, off the sidewalk and everything else there they don't really care about you and, uh, but the ones spraying us there uh, should be jailed. And uh, I'm sure those pilots know what they're doing up there. I don't know how they can sleep at night, but I guess they get pretty good pay there for doing this. So if you notice there one morning you wake up and it's just black for my screen, well, you know what happened. When you look up, Look for lines. Look for lines in the sky. They're there. Six o'clock. Sunset. See the sky. Nothing but mist. And here they come. Look at that trail there. Cases, see that's just a contrail. That's why you got vaccinated because you're stupid. I love using that word because it's true. And this guy up here knows exactly what he's doing. Look at him going through that mist. Yeah, what they're doing in the sky is toxic. <laughs> yeah. Bastard. Right over the house. I also notice when you look up at the sky next time, if you're on the west coast and you're getting winds coming from Aussie and it's pushing onto New Zealand, onto the west coast, they'll dump out at sea. So that by the time that uh, it comes across, it kind of lands onto the land as well and covers. Like everything's, I've, I've noticed that. They're always dumping where the wind is, so it flows into you. I'm wobbling here now, I'm wobbling. What kind of plane is that? Going right over the house here and I'm leaning back. Um, when the live's finished, you can post the video in the comments if you can, Sarah. Oh, look, there goes Robbo there. Robbo's on Rumble. So you can also get Rob on Rumble. Sudden death. 
Do I suddenly that? Do I suddenly movie? That was a, a horror movie made by controlled opposition. Testing chemtrail dust. I don't know. I've seen a video of a guy of a guy talking about it. It's not there. Anyway, back to Rob. This train. And that was 45 minutes ago. Look at a square with a bomb in it right there. This is where they're fueling the storm where it's calm. So this isn't all EMF. This is a cam bomb storm. Cam bomb, what they're calling a center. All right, this, this part here is looks more round and everything like like the big groovy what you expect to see in a storm but really you got a square here a square here and a square here all interacting with each other yeah gears turn turning the gears this is engineering of course you would use gears gears levers john i'm a believer once the rest wake up which lots will never do it will be too late sickness dumbed down robots they may be i don't know i just know 23 is going to be a crazy year i i think soon is going to open up their portal and then you're going to have some demonic entities even more come through um, yeah i don't know just got to raise those raise those vibrations and just uh just hope uh-huh tension springs <laughs> they're like a leaf spring bump something up against it it might bump back if this has enough force oh <gasps> what do you that makes sense now for you mechanics oh yeah the mechanics are going to understand this first because those i understand how to those analogies very well you will oh, look at the curl cue hey eh? that's a gamba over here Punani over there. Punana, what's your name? Oh my! I don't think what's what thing's worse is, is to see the cambams or know what they're getting ready to do to you. Yeah. Oh, what they do to me. I see Nazi swastikas in the sky. The boom, boom, plumes going by. And people just looking at their phone and walk away. Today. Oh, my. See these cat bombs? That's, this, this isn't the clouds that I've seen when I was a kid. This is a whole new manufacturer method of chem. This is not the jet plane. This is way above where those planes be flying. Now you, best place to see a chemtrail is usually over here near Sydney, but they don't fly till 6 o'clock in the morning. So there won't be no flights coming in till then. How does he know that? Because I've flown in there before. And as we go up to coast to... To do the can can, we got the anchors away over here, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Come bomb away. And they dropped a can on the cans. Dude, a can of what, though? Y'all need to open up a can of who pass. You figured that part out yet? But they'll kill us if we do that. And they're gonna kill you if you don't. Which way you gonna go? I'd rather damn my. Fucking feet standing, my head held high. Then die on my knees, groveling for the scraps off Longshank's table. Still, while they tried to breed us out, still, and burn us out, and flood us out. Same old song and dance, different century. Same old fox. What a shame, watching my whales and my fish and coral getting poisoned and they're blaming everything but the cause. That this stuff has sulfur and it's falling out on a, on a reef. You, you go ahead and, and take calcium uh, forms of life and pour acid out of it and see how long it lasts. 
turns into a sludge. What a shame. When I see this kind of stuff like that, that's what I think about. And these people studying it, they're diving in it all day. If they don't actually neutralize their skin and their clothes with some kind of baking soda or something, soda water, they're going to get burns. And chemical burns of sulfur is going to add up to, to problems and melanomas later in life. Because it'll make them more susceptible to sunburns. As I look at all this shit off the coast over here of, uh, of Harvey Bay. You know, a place I've championed for a very long time. It's just Kembon, Kembon, Kembon. One after the other. One, two, three, four there. And there's some reefs out here with chemtrails going over. Chemtrails over. So just to reiterate, the Kim bombs are the Kim trails. For the reef, well, they try to say it's bleach and it's dying. And I said, well, I think this, this reef needs sunlight uh, to prosper. Not just to stay alive, but to prosper. It doesn't need chemtrails going over it. There ain't that many flight paths you got to bring it here. And these dang sure ain't jet planes doing this. This is lower in the clouds than that. And there's something vaporing off from these three dots of that are whiter up here. As they move along, I just see this is an endless, endless geoengineering show here. I could just keep going on from this square edge to here. To that square, square edge in here with the bombs in it. To just keep going across the ocean. I could just It's just endless. I could pull up a worldview. And as, as much of the screen is showing, I can go from one chem bomb to the other over across the whole world. And that in itself shows you it's not just an Australian problem. It's a United Nations agreement or some some nefarious thing is going on that something's being agreed upon to do. Because it's keeping a whole lot of people uh, out of the loop. But then again, you know, didn't they assemble an atomic bomb without everybody knowing what was going on? Well, you know, this day and age, if it's in the sky, it's hard to disguise. But if you haze it out enough, you'll never see what's above it going on. You'll assume, oh, that was some lightning going on up there. It could just be a fireworks show. Mm-hmm. Showed it plenty. Da na 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 boom 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 plum boom boom. I'm gonna see the pattern where they're bringing it. Right, this is gonna nudge this a little bit south. Um, Alice, I wonder what that one's up to. Shall we find out? You have to excuse me. I'm still having trouble holding food down. I wonder if he. I wonder if Rob talks about this one because remember I showed you this one as well, and I, I'm yeah, I'm still learning from Rob. There's another one too. It goes this way. But he didn't. He didn't see it. I don't let nothing beat me. You know me. It's hard to do any determinants here if if it's beaming or not because it's just such a it's such a shit image. Man, they ain't showing us nothing. They ain't showing us nothing. Yeah, I don't like that website, Rob. Nothing to see here, folks. Look at your phones. It won't be over quick. But for some of you, it will. I used to want to be a professional athlete. I don't now. My God, it ain't dropping like flies. What a shame. Look at the big P in the sky here. See it? Is this who this one brought to you? Hey, man, put a P in the sky for me. Come on. Quite a toroid they created when the center's over here. That shouldn't happen there. Not naturally. It's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, we had the predicted glitch. I was watching a movie. Yeah. On the Amazon, they was talking about uh. He'll predict a a CME. And nobody, everybody will believe it's that, but we could just do this. And I went, what? I'll have to find the minutes of it and let you know what it was. It was about AI consciousness. It's a nice uh, treatise in it. I like listening to discussions about what it is to be sentient. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting conversation. Look at these bombs over here. Was that Broken Hill? No, it's Balgo Hill. Yep, yep, Balgo Hill and Waskly Wabbit Flat. So I just looked at that a moment ago. I want to make sure there was a couple I didn't want to miss. All right, we're going to go down to the corner. There's not much going on down here other than this big... EMF field here to to make you go what in the hell was that right this is not naturally occurring this was a big big chem bomb deployment who knows why 
what was required. Maybe that big P guy is having a fireworks show. But all I know is it's a not naturally occurring cloud formation and there's chem bombs in this. It's not just EMF. Nope. That's like that zipper where they come down the line and deploy stuff left, right, left, right. Something's here, it's done three. Hey, those are chem bombs. There's star formation. You know, they're just let fireworks off. Uh-huh. Fireworks with lots of chemicals in them. Making chemical trails. Or the short version of chemical trail is chemtrail. And it's a real word. And don't let it put your back hair up. It's just a definition. It's, you, you were told that people lie if they say it. But if I could prove it's a chemical and it's leaving a trail, whether it's smoke or whether it's... It, it's a cloud of wa pure water vapor or not a, a telling test will reveal these things and we deserve honest disclosure to everything that's in the sky we breathe that's put there by man when laws are passed to clean smokestack pollution out but yet they'll deploy something that they say the stacks are supposed to take out right sulfur dioxide things like that hydrogen sulfides uh-huh you know that orange gas? It's odorless. If you no, it smells like hell. When you stop smelling it, is when you got to get worried. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh, stop that there because I encourage you to jump over to Robert's page and to um to go and subscribe to him and to uh, learn from from what Robert's been teaching thousands of people. Um, so he's on Rumble, he's on Instagram, I think, and he's on Facebook and definitely YouTube, as you can see here. So uh, thanks, Rob, for all that you do. I hope one day that we get to talk to you and you can um, we can ask you some questions so that for some of us that aren't so bright like myself, um, you can get a little bit more uh, in depth with us and, and teach us what you've learned over the years so thank you rob i appreciate that um on that note guys i'm going to uh end it here and uh much love to you all stay kind to each other all we need is love and uh nature that's all we need to survive we don't need none of these chemicals anyway much love to everybody and uh, i'm probably gonna do another live shortly and we're gonna get into the topic of dramat dramatra numbers so if you want stick around for that and uh yeah but i'll end this one now and we'll start up a new one shortly all right see you later guys until next time bye